man alive there was like someone following me there's a time Hello and welcome back. I'm so excited to be back with you this month and I think I got a pretty good book to start out with. This week I'm reviewing Jason Horton's short story, Mine, and between the fact that it was really interesting and the fact that it was a short story, I ate it up. It takes place in England. My geography isn't the best, so I know it takes place partially in London, but I'm not entirely sure how close some of the surrounding areas are. But anyway, Jason is this seemingly down-to-earth good guy who works for a charity and he's in London for business. He has some big meeting that they attend like every year. And while he's there, he's really tired. He decides to go to the hotel bar and restaurant to like get food. And he sees the most beautiful girl that he's ever seen. And it's kind of funny because... Um, She's just very textbook bombshell. She's blonde, she has the perfectly like coiffed hair, her, she's got curves, you know, like just very Marilyn Monroe type. And he just thinks that she's super cute and tries to talk to her. Well, after um, slipping her a note and waiting for her to meet him after dinner, after she's done, because she's there with her parents, he kind of gets a little bit cuckolded because there's this really big beefy business guy Tristan who thinks he's all that but like Loki he's and it's not Loki he is he's kind of a terrible person um you get to know a little bit more about how and why later on but he leaves the story for a minute while Lucy and Jason are developing the relationship and it's really cute and y'all know that I love me a good romance and then Tristan comes back and he's like, I'm going to exact my revenge. This is where it was simultaneously really exciting and kind of a little bit odd, I guess. Because some of the decisions that some characters make are like kind of drastic. So without trying to give too much away, Tristan's determined to get Lucy back, even though Lucy wants nothing to do with him. And he goes to some pretty far extremes. He... Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to tell you without not spoiling it. Well, he definitely threatens Jason. And because of this threat, Jason ghosts Lucy. And on one hand, Lucy's like, what the hell, dude? Like, I thought we had something. We just made it official and now you're ignoring me. But on the flip side, she's like, oh my gosh, like something is wrong. Like I know in my heart and in my soul that he would not be doing this if there wasn't a good reason. And he does, he does have a good reason. Um, because he's trying to figure out who Tristan is and trying to figure out how, not so much he can get back at him, but like how he can figure out how to be with Lucy without risking Tristan's arguably very powerful wrath. Guys, it was good. It was entertaining. I thought the characters were well developed considering it's only 40 pages long. Um... And on that note, too, like, the plot's pretty well developed for it. It's simple. It's entertaining. It's not trying too hard to, like, squeeze in a bunch of information and a bunch of events. It's not not trying enough where you're just, like, left wanting more. But, like, you are at the same time because you're just like, ooh, I wonder what happens. Like, is it just happily ever after? And on one hand... You do get that closure just with the way that Horton um, structured this short story. But in his author's note at the beginning, he says that this is just an introduction of the characters and that he's expending, extending, excuse me, that into more, um, I don't know if it's more books, more short stories exactly what his plan is, but he's going to write us some more stories about Lucy and Jason and that I'm very excited for because I like the little bit of romance and a little bit of crime and the little well it's not like crime crime but it's kind of like who done it but like I don't know how to describe it it's good though like it's really good um there are secrets 
There's blackmail. So I guess if you consider blackmail crime, then there's crime. Uh, yeah, it was just a solid read. And I think Horton's a really good author. He's descriptive. His plot, like I said, well thought out. His characters, again, well thought out. I thought the dialogue was really good. It seemed to flow really naturally. Uh, his descriptions are really good. And just overall, it's a solid read. I think if you like romance, if you like interesting, realistic-ish fiction, and I say ish because like I said, some of the characters' decisions seemed a little bit brash to me, but realistic-ish fiction and just entertaining, like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, not really st strictly in one genre, I think you'll really enjoy it. And like I said, it's short. So if you're like getting back into reading or if you're trying to get into reading, I think this is a really good place to start. Or if you're like me and you're getting back into blogging, check it out. So that's all I have this week for Mine by Jason Horton. Next week, I'm coming back with E.P. Spiegel in her Catfield world. So I'll be reviewing book two next week and I'm excited. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching and happy reading.